this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to add extreme contrast to a photo making it seem a lot more intense. So let's get to it. Right, so here we have our image and what we need to do here is duplicate our image and desaturate it. So we're going to go into image adjustments and desaturate, turn it into black and white and then we're going to copy it over again and change the mode to screen. So now we've added more contrast to the photo. Now we want to bring that back, that's a bit too much, so we want to bring that back to an opacity of 50% there. So I just pressed 5 on my number keypad because I'm on the move tool, so pressing 5 is a good shortcut to get that to 50. Okay, and now we need to duplicate our uh, top layer here. There we are, or our bottom, our background layer, sorry. Um, and we need to bring it all the way to the top here. And with this, we're going to change this mode here to overlay and also change that opacity to 50%. So, so far what we've done is we've made the image black and white, we've added some screen to it, and then we have added a color overlay over it. Now what we want to do is add a new layer here. We want to paint in with 50% gray, so make sure you're on 0, 0, and 50. And we're going to fill that in, so that's Alt and Backspace, since that gray is my foreground color. And we're going to change this mode here to overlay as well. Changing overlay to 50% uh, gray just makes it disappear and allows us to add things over top of the image. For example, we're going to add some noise to the image here. So we're going to go to a filter, noise, and add noise. And that allows us to add the noise independently of the image, right? So we're going to add just a small percentage here, 2%, uniform, and monochromatic. Click OK. Now you can kind of barely tell that there is that noise there, so we're going to accentuate that noise. We're not we, we're not looking for a lot of noise, but the noise that we there we want it to pop out. So we only added 2%, but now we can go into Filter, Sharpen, and Unsharp Mask. And here we can see the preview of our noise here, the, the effects of a noise. Let me move this over here. So we have before and the after there. This is adding a bit too much here or to the noise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add a radius here of, say, Point five. Let's let's work this out here. Let's see a point in which the noise isn't too overbearing here. Go around 200%. We'll do here. There we are. So we're going to use 200% and 0.5 pixels and zero threshold, and click OK. So we have the before and the after. So we have the noise coming in through, making it gritty, right? And uh, one final step here. We're going to add uh, a um, an adjustment layer. We're going to go for curves and press OK. We're not going to do anything with the curves right now, but we are going to change the mode of the curves to multiply. And this is essentially, this is pretty much uh, the same thing you would get if you had all this, if you combined all of the images, all of these images. You made a copy of it, and then you set that to multiply. This is just a very quick way to add multiply to all of those images combined. So it's a quick trick there. And now what we want to do is scale this back in two ways. We want to only apply this to the edges, this effect of the multiply, and then we want to change the opacity. So let's uh, let's only apply it to just the uh, edges. So the way we do this is just uh, with a circle selection marquee tool. We're just going to create an elliptical selection here, like so. We're going to then add our quick mask, going to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur, and add a big enough Gaussian blur, so something like 41 and so forth, so you see that the edges are really blending in. We're going to click OK, exit the mask, and then make sure that we are on the uh, adjustment layer. Sometimes it leaves the adjustment, the, uh, the mask of the adjustment layer here. And then we want to fill that in with black. So that is uh, control and backspace, because black is my background color at the moment. Control and backspace, so we are deleting the, uh, the effect of the multiply here and leaving it over here on the edges. Essentially, it's kind of like a vignette, but it's a little bit different because we're using the, uh, the actual colors of the image so that here it becomes darker, sure, because this is dark, but here it becomes more intense of a green. And now we want to just dial this back to about 50%. There we are. And our noise, you want to make sure that our noise is appropriate, or maybe you want to dial that back also to 50%. I think the noise actually works quite well at 100%, but again, it's all about scaling these things. So if you want, you could you know, change the opacity to 50% in much in the same way we're doing the multiply, we're also doing the overlay and so forth. 
Now, if you're satisfied with this image, that's great. There are some things that you might want to consider, though. You might want to consider, first of all, going to our uh, the original layer, the background layer here. We want to alt and click on it just to bring just that up and hide all the other layers. And we want to just compare. So if you alt and click again, we go back to our... Uh, you know, all the effects. So this is sort of like a before and an after. And you want to see, is there anything that you want to bring back from this image to here? And you might want to think, well, maybe maybe some of the colors are a little bit desaturated. For example, it would be nice to bring some of the purple in here and, um, you know, make it a little bit more intense here. I think the purple would look quite well if it came out. So what we can do with that is we can bring back some of the purple. And the, the, the thing responsible for... Uh, the purple not being as intense as it was before is actually this layer here because if we remove it then we, we bring all of that color in so what we can do here is just add a mask and bring in some of that purple so how about we do that okay the way that we do this is we hide everything else so we're just going to do an alt and click here on the just to view the background layer and then we're going to just select the color purple so we're going to go to select color range and then let me do it here we, what we need to do is with the uh, color picker we need to click on a part that's purple and then we need to adjust the fuzziness so that we're selecting just the color purple. You don't need to go haywire on this. You just uh, try to select perfectly just the purple bits and so forth. But you want to get something that is fairly representative of getting some of the purple bits. It's okay if you get some other bits that are not exactly purple, but try to stick with the purple bits. And now what you want to do is alt and click again to bring all of that, you know, the, all the effects back. And now we're going to just add a layer mask to this. Now what we need to do is just invert that because uh, what we actually want to do is not bring back the color for everything but the purple. We're going to do the opposite here. So we just need to do a control and I to invert. And we are bringing back the color purple um, just from this layer here. So we're punching that hole through and it's actually getting the purple from the original image. So there we are. And now what you can do is just fine tune it a little bit more. Um, with the big brush on white and a low opacity, what you can do now is just with white, you're going to be scaling that back and taking away the uh, the purple that you brought in. So you can, for example, just get some of the uh, some of the edges here, some of the the beginning of the roots to not be as intense, and then as they come down, they become more intense. For example, so you can do something like that. Um, and then also, you know, if you, if you want to bring back other colors, you can go back in and you know, perhaps select some of the, the lips and so forth if you want, or bring back some, you know, any of the colors that you want. You can do the, the whole color selection and then bring it in here into our mask and uh, and have it that way. But I think this works quite well, so this is going to be our extreme contrast image here. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.